Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com and I've gotten a lot of requests to do a few more comparisons of the single column KJV Premier Collection from Thomas Nelson. So I will try to place a link to the original review in the in, in the in the corner wherever that happens to be. And uh, a quick overview here: it's a, it's a goatskin edition with 36 GSM uh, paper. 10 point font, single column with about 14 to 16 words per line. Reference edition, very few references, but it does have them. And then footnotes in the footer with updated words. A little bit of a concordance, decent concordance, not too small, but not large. And then maps. And then, of course, edge line leather. So let's take a look at how it compares to several other Bibles. I'm going to get these out of the way, and I'll be right back. So, first is the McLaren in goatskin. One of my favorite Bibles. This one is a ten and a half point font. And we'll see how it compares. So a little bit larger footprint. Slightly thinner for the McLaren. And here's the text. Double column verse by verse with quite a bit more uh, references. A lot more references. Blue highlights throughout. It does not include um, an, a concordance but it does have the maps and it is a black letter edition while the single column is a red letter edition so let's compare black to black so there's how, how our text compares That's one of my favorites. That's the one that I preach from. Not the, not the goatskin edition, but the genuine leather. But I might have to switch to this one. I'm liking that one quite a bit. So that's how they look. Next is the giant print center column reference from Thomas Nelson. Now this one has the same paper, same leather. Quite a bit different footprint. Maybe zoomed in a little too much actually. Thinner. So that's how they look side by side. Now this one I believe is a 12 point. Yeah, so this one is a 12 point edition. 36 GSM paper. It has red highlights. And it also has more references. It does not have as many references as the McLaren. But it has a lot more references than the single column. So there's how they look. Now this one has book introductions. It has book introductions. It was not printed with line matching. And it has the maps and some charts and a decent concordance. And that's how that compares. And it also has the same words in the margin just like the McLaren and just like the single column. Next is the handcrafted single column wide margin from Holman and I did not use this one before because it's not it's not a reference edition and it's also a larger Bible so it's kind of in a different category in my opinion. But here's how they compare. Let me zoom out just a hair. So the Holman is a little thicker and has a wider footprint and that's because it is a wide margin edition let's get to the same same psalm here psalm 49 so there's psalm 49 compared now the Holman has red highlights which to me looks more elegant The construction quality is not quite up to par in my opinion on the Holman and that does seem to be common with with this edition unfortunately I do like this Bible it has maps it has a concordance I do like this paper I like this Bible a lot just the the build quality is just not up to par in my opinion but it is also verse by verse 
single column with no formatting. So poetry doesn't look like poetry or anything like that. And they are both red letters, so let's compare red to red. So here's the red letter. And then finally, another single column, verse by verse, reference edition, the Striden from Scholar. Now this one is made in the Netherlands. This one is made in the Netherlands with that very expensive 28 GSM uh, Indopec paper. So there's the footprint. The Striden is slightly thinner and slightly taller and wider. but also verse by verse. Now the difference with its verse by verse is that it has a poetic setting. Letters look like letters, poetry looks like poetry, instead of it just being just verse by verse. So if we were to compare the regular prose, it would look something like this right here. This is comparing the 36 GSM to the 28 GSM. This one, the Striden, has a lot more references, and they've they've come up with a really good design to place references and footnotes in the footer away from each other and away from the text, and give you a wide margin on the outside, and make it very readable, and very usable. Red highlights all throughout, and this one has the concordance and scholar maps with the map index. And there's a black letter edition. So that is a quick look at how the single column KJV Thomas Nelson Premier Collection compares to the to several other editions. I like this Bible quite a bit. I like that a lot. So I'll place links to the written review and then I'll also add this video to that review. And then place link in the top up here somewhere so that you can see the original review if you'd like. Also, I will place links so that you can make a purchase if you're interested. Thomas Nelson did supply this in exchange for an honest review. And thanks for watching.